The most asked question in real estate market today is, should I buy a house now or should I wait for a recession to come? To answer this question to the best of my knowledge, through experience working with many home buyers and home sellers, we really have to look at two major things. One is, what do you as a buyer believe about real estate prices in general and of course in the present time? And number two is, what is your belief about the interest rates? What do you believe about real estate prices is very much driven by all the headlines that you're seeing pretty much all the time right now. And if you've been watching any of my videos for a while, then you know and aware that the information that's on is being exaggerated and it's done specifically to capture your attention. And this can very much confuse you to accurately understand what's happening in our local real estate market right here. So the answer to this question in relation specifically to our market here on Staten Island, I have some great stuff to share with you. Let's take a look at it all together. Last year, a single family home on Persimmon Lane in the Heartland Village, New Springville neighborhood was listed and sold at $700,000 on November of 2021. The same house today is listed at $749,000. And the same house sold and closed on September of 2022 for $730,000. Now let's look at a two family house on Willowwood Lane in Great Kills. It was sold for $715,000 July of 2021, and the same house just closed this month for $748,000. Now, a single-family townhouse in Roseville in 2021 sold for $430,000. The same house is currently pending and in contract at an asking price of $539,000. And so to be taken into consideration, let's look at what experts are saying. The chart below shares the average home price forecast for 2023 from the Mortgage Bankers Association, the Home Price Expectancy Survey, the National Association of Realtors, Fannie Mae, and Ivy Zellman, who's the CEO of Zellman & Associates, who is a research investment firm dedicated exclusively to the housing industry. Look at this, four out of the six are predicting that home prices will continue to go up, and only two are predicting a decline in home prices next year. And so roughly 66% chance that prices will continue to increase or at least stay level. And clearly when we looked at the examples of New Springville, Great Kills, and the Rossville area, what we just saw together pretty much supports these predictions. And in my opinion, I would agree with that because we still have a lot more buyers looking to purchase a home than the available homes for sale right here on Staten Island. For instance, right now we have 1,247 active homes that are currently for sale and 370 listings were canceled in the last six months. Canceled meaning homeowners just canceled the sale of their house and are choosing to continue living in their homes without making any changes to their living arrangements at all. They're not downsizing, they're not upsizing, they're just staying put. I can't blame them to be honest with you because why should I want to get out of a home that I'm mortgaging at like around three to 4% interest rates right now and then buy a home that is going to cost me double on interest. That's not gonna make any common sense to me either. Which leads us to the next question. What do you believe about the interest rates? There's no doubt that the interest rates are still rising and are going to continue to rise. They've been pounding these things into our heads for the longest time already. The Fed is going to continue to do that. That's their idea and weapon to stabilize inflation. But I think that the majority of the increases is currently behind us. This chart that I'm gonna show you right now from Freddie Mac shows the mortgage rates into their upward transactory. If you look here from January 2022 until today, you can clearly see that they've been rising rapidly early on this year, but not as much towards the end. Experts like 
Mark Fleming, a chief economist at First American, says while mortgage rates are expected to continue to drift higher over the coming months, much of the rapid increase in rates is likely behind us. Nationally, while month-over-month -month house prices may decline, the annual house price declines are not expected, giving the ongoing supply and demand imbalance and continued strength in the labor market. Don't I always tell you about the labor market and supply and demand? As long as the Fed continues to raise their rates, we will continue to hear the experts predicting that the increase of rates will likely lead to a recession in the next 12 months or so. But more importantly is for us to see if a recession really means falling mortgage rates. And for this, we can look at this chart here from Freddie Mac showing how mortgage rates changed during the last six recessions. It can be any one of these rates declines or maybe none at all. Who knows? Do we have a crystal ball? I wish I had one. Let's say mortgage rates will fall back down again, right? Let's take the highest number we have so far, 5%. So now we're back at 3.5% mortgage rates. Can you imagine what will happen then? Do you remember just a little while ago, the lack of inventory, the cheap money to borrow, Hence, the low interest rates created a hectic, insane real estate market. We're going to fall right back into it, right back when we were, just about a year ago or almost actually two years ago. So many home buyers and so little inventory, bidding wars are going to be back, paying above and beyond as price will come back, removing appraisals will come back, giving up on home inspections will come back. Can you see that? Can you? A lot of the buyers who are out of the market right now because they cannot handle the monthly payment at this rate, now they will jump right back into the market and I believe that this time around, they will be even more eager to buy because they already lost on the opportunity and they can clearly see how the rising interest rates can impact their ability to purchase a house they're not going to take that chance. So here's an example of what a mortgage payment looked like just a little while ago when the interest rates were at around half of what they are right now. The interest rate last year was around 3.5% on a 30-year conventional fixed rate mortgage. If you bought this house at $700,000 with 20% down payment, your monthly mortgage payment would have been just around $2,500. The same house at the same price with today's interest rates, which are very close to 8%, your monthly mortgage payment is around $4,100. It's important to really understand that in the real estate market, where you are planning to buy, which is here, it does not look like there's a chance that prices will start coming down. Staying level or increasing is more likely. The key to making a decision whether you should be buying a house now or waiting for a recession, if a recession is even coming, and what are you going to be facing as per the examples that I showed you in the beginning of the video. We can anticipate that home values are not going to drop they have a better chance of staying stable than dropping here locally on Staten Island and even in New Jersey in many places. And I think that the most important thing for you to look at is can you afford the monthly payment and also comparing it to if you don't buy a house now per se and rent instead, what is a three bedroom apartment going to cost you to rent? Does it make sense to continue to rent for what I anticipate a very long time? Or does it make sense to buy a house now? That is if you can afford the monthly payment, that's really important. Keep in mind that buying a home or any real estate during a shifting market or during a shaky, uncertain type of market like this one we are going through right now, the plan should always be to hang on to it for the long term. Because in the long term, Take it from me. 
I've bought houses and I've sold houses before. I'm also an investor and I do real estate full time for over 22 years. There's not going to be a better investment than real estate. It's a very personal and individual decision for each buyer based on life events like a new job, a new baby coming along, or getting married or parents or family members moving together, whatever the case may be. An important question is what is driving you to consider buying a home at this current time? Home ownership is always something that you should strive for. Renting is never secure. In my own personal experience, I have came across many tenants who were forced to find a new place to live just because the owner of the house or the unit that they lived in decided one day that they want them out for many reasons. Whether they wanted to sell the property, whether they wanted a family member to move in, a, a whole lot of different reasons. But to help you make the best decision that works best for you, whether you decide to buy a house now or wait for a later time, the key is to work with a local professional realtor who can sit down with you, learn about you, educate you closely, particularly pertaining to your individual unique life situation where you then can really have tools and knowledge to do and make the best possible choice that works for you. Owning a home is much more than just number of bedrooms, number of baths, the neighborhood and the ticket price. If you are moving to my area and want to know more about buying a house now or waiting for the recession is best for you, I'd love to hear from you and I'll do my best to help and dig into it with you together. If this video was any value to you at all, please give it a like, share with your other friends who have the same questions, subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next video.